everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and once again, I am joined with Minho. Uh, <laughs> I think she wants to be here. <laughs> I'm leaving. Yeah, especially after last uh, reading. <laughs> Don't remind me. Oh, God. I'm well, just hoping that it lands on Crafting Table X Furnace for that <laughs> masterpiece of a finish. That's, that's what we're at right now. No. Oh. I think it's off the wheel, because there's not that many anymore. What I'm really waiting for is Scooby-Doo X-Reader. Oh my god, that, that, I will not mind reading again. But, uh, enough with the other great books. We're gonna read another great book. I think this was good, last time we read it. What a... I kinda forgot yeah, what happened. Uh, the ability of Sebastian in love with Sam, and he's oblivious, and he and Sebastian dated Abigail, and they're beefing, and she's dating someone else, and they're fucking still beefing, and all right, that's all I know. That's ah uh, yes. There's drama going on, and we don't understand the drama. <laughs> it's a TV show. Yeah, <laughs> it feels like it. I feel like with every book we read, it's like a the old little soap, soap opera we're <laughs> like peering into. Yeah, I was gonna say. Especially with the Harvey one, where it was like going so well, and then they're like, but but our reputation's in town. We can't let anyone find out about it. <laughs> it's like all gossip and drama. Mm -hmm. We're pulling that uh, Mary Lewis and uh, Marnie thing right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Purple shorts. That's just gonna happen. We're gonna request that someone go get our own purple shorts from his doctor's office or some shit like that, and it's gonna spread around. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Alright, so we have uh, this book. Uh, we laid it off on chapter four. We probably this done today. I forgot how long these chapters are, but there's three left. So, maybe. Three chapters left. Yeah, it's four, five, six, and seven. And I believe the plus sign on this side is a uh, is an author's note. Mm, yeah. Yeah, we can read about this then fast. Who knows? We can do it. Well, I do not have that. The one thing I didn't grab before I brought my setup was a penny. So. Oh shit! All right. Hey Google. Exactly. I was gonna say, just go to Google and do heads or tails. Oh, we didn't call it yet, though. Oh shit! You're right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> which which one do you want to be? Uh, heads. Okay, heads. You read tails. I read. It's tails. All right. I get to suffer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright, chapter four. That's an, I do not remember what one through three was really about, but we'll figure it out. Maybe, maybe they'll tell us in like a recap. <laughs> I released his hand and slowly sat back up before crossing the room to sit at my desk. Then stayed quiet. Eyes blew to the floor as my fingers began making contact with the keyboard. What are you doing, Sam asked. Quite quiet. Work. I kept my eyes on the screen. After a few beats of silence, he asked, "Do you want me to go? T Do you want me to go?" I paused. My head was swimming with the previous actions. My throat began to close, and the air grew thick among the silence. He started getting up, head hung. I stepped back and mumbled, "No, you don't have to go. It's okay. I got stuff to do at home." He said, making his way up to the stairs. Fuck! I mumbled, the head resting on my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I remember, like, uh, Maru's in, uh, the bathroom's thing. They're gonna move out, and they're gonna live together, I think. I remember seeing that one fuck, and now I remember there were, like, eight fucks in the beginning of the whole story. I'm glad I, it sparked, like, a core memory. <laughs> <laughs> a few hours passed when I finished the work I had piled in my inbox. My phone buzzed, and I flipped over to see a message from Abigail. Can I come over? Hey, Brad. I guess I was sad enough, or maybe just best for it. But after a few minutes of watching the cursor blink, I agreed upon it. Dude, that's that's sad. <laughs> no. Right. That, that's a that's a three. I'm I'm kidding. Like, are you up kind of thing? 
Oh my god. Loser. Alright. I got <laughs> the stairs and knocked at my door. Came in and mumbled, getting up from my desk. Hey, she said, breathless. What's up? I asked, taking a step towards her. I could see that her eyes were red and puffy. Are you okay? She sighed and shrugged her shoulders, eyes darting around the room. Abby, I pursued it. Yeah, persisted. I'm so stupid, she mumbled, taking a step towards me. What do you mean? My eyes frowned. I was so stupid to leave you. I stickered and turned away. Sebastian, don't pull this shit with me, Abby, okay? I released my way into the bed. So that's why you wanted to come over? I'm not. You are. I don't care if you got dumped or whatever. If you recall, so did I. And I'm just fucking fine, I said, fire spitting in my words. I thought I'd... I thought I'd be helping you, she shot back. Helping me? I laughed. Don't you think I knew about Sam? There's nothing happening with Sam, I shouted, face turning red. That fucking bring you up. <laughs> oh, it's getting heated. Oh my god, the, the girls are fighting. <laughs> Soap opera time. Yeah. This is the best soap opera when they're all yelling at each other. <laughs> Let me get my popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> you rolled her eyes. Whatever. I miss you. That's all. That's why I'm here. Okay, well, great to know. I crossed my arms and back into the wall. You crossed the room and sat next to me. My eyes on the- I got my eyes on the ceiling. I really missed you. She placed her hand on my knee. I jerked it away. Abby, don't. I responded harshly. But she didn't give in. Part of her nature, I think, is to be the most stubborn one in the room. And while I'm not- Well, I'm not like to admit it. I guess I did miss her. Sam pulsed into the back of my head, dull and far away, as Abigail slipped closer to me, eyes peering into the side of my face. She slipped her hand underneath my- Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> like, you really caught me off guard. Alright, I can do that. I'm the actor. <laughs> actor, actor. Actor. <laughs> she slid her hand under my sweatshirt and began kissing my neck. It's not natural. Like, we never stopped being together. Like, we were on fire again. Close my eyes, tried to relax, but Sam came forward. I began imagining his hands in my chest, lips against my throat. My eyes shot up and I jerked back. Stop! <laughs> That's how I'm feeling right now. It's just a big fucking <laughs> stop. <laughs> I, I jumped off the bed and pointed towards the board. The door. Leave now. The now, I shouted. She sighed and stopped past me, pausing just before the staircase. Just do something about it, she mumbled for exiting. Fucking bitch, I said, <laughs> collapsing on the ground. <laughs> I tilted my head back and closed my eyes. I could still feel him. His warmth and grit. But then I remembered how weak he was. How scared. We were just kids. I didn't have the strength to deal with it when what I was feeling. I didn't want to put him put that on him. I couldn't tell him how I felt. Not knowing how scared he was about something else. I needed him in my life as a friend, but he needed me too. Despite that, I knew I needed to back off. I decided to give him some space. I didn't call or text him for three days, each hanging heavier than the last. I spent the time talking with Mark, buzzing about leaving here. Where we would go, we'll have a apartment we could afford, but it was only temporary stress. Once the third day rolled around, I couldn't take it. I'd been tossing in my bed for about a half an hour, looking my phone every couple minutes, begging for a message from Sam. I didn't even take I didn't even take a message from Abigail to distract me. Looked up my contact list and stared at his name, my face emulating by the glow. My my finger itched closer to the screen growing heavier with every second, until I pressed down, stared at the name, distant, ringing, echoing across around the room. Hello? I snapped back and quickly touched the, the phone to my face. Uh, hey, how are you? I asked. Uh, I'm fine. He trailed off. I can't sleep. Uh, you want to come over? I tried to be not so long, but I could sense my eagerness seeping in. He was silent for, for a beat before answering. Yeah, sure. I'll be over in a few minutes. His voice was uncertain and wavering. I hung up and regretted the call almost instantly. I pushed the covers off my legs, getting up, crossed the room to my dresser, and threw a clean pair of jeans and a black hoodie. I nervously stood in the middle of the room, shifting my weight 
from one foot to another. Once I could hear it stepped above me, I walked to my desk and sat at the, the swivel chair. I tried to look busy, or at least intended on whatever was behind the screen. He, sh he shuffled down and step lightly knocked on the door before entering. Hey, he said, his eyes glancing around the room. Hey. The, the silence hung for a bit before I got up from my chair. Wanna watch something? I asked. He nodded and flicked on the TV in the corner of the room. He flipped out the lights and we both made ourselves comfortable on the met on the carpet. I looked at the noise for met. I let the noise filled the room as I worked out in my head. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, it was for me, you were right. Oh shit. Let's go. <laughs> Plus one. Plus one was it, yeah. Yeah, words Phoenix can say. Pyramid, well, I can't pronounce it now. I'll figure it out later. <laughs> 30 minutes passed before one of us even looked at the other. Room flooded with, with dim, flashing colors. Then took a deep breath and turned his body toward me. I'm sorry about what I said. I didn't mean to make you think I wasn't excited about you moving to the city. I am. I'm just scared about myself. And I'm glad that you're happy. And I'm glad that you're going to finally get to leave, but. I just don't know. I just don't have the same feeling about it. He said, his eyes fixed the day before. What do you mean? I like it here. I like the town and my friends and our family. I like it. You don't? He said. I was silent. I didn't want to think about how that I was the only one putting so much pressure on it. I wanted to crack to find the scholarship stay here away from me. I this. I want you to be happy, dude. I don't care where it goes. I said, shifting my weight towards him. I could feel the air in the room getting lighter as he exhaled. Thanks. He smiled, his eyes wandering down to my hands. I moved them away out of anxiousness and tried to change the subject. I came over the other day. Oh my god, they're getting into the fucking drama. This is the shit I pull with, with my own. No. <laughs> I'm like, guess what fucking Stacy said to me yesterday? <laughs> You would not believe. No, this is the kind of shit I did where I was like, oh my god, guess who I just stole at Walmart? Fucking Sam. She had the most raggy ass. Like, 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 that's the shit I did. <laughs> Her uh, clothes are so two days ago. Yeah. <laughs> she looks like a homeless man. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, don't worry. I was, I was an asshole in high school. I feel like I still am. I'm just hiding it. <laughs> <laughs> Abby came over the other day, I noted. Yeah? Yeah. Why? He asked. I think she got dumped. Ain't crawling back. I snickered. Weird. He chuckled and focused his attention on the TV. A few minutes passed in silence before he spoke up again. What was it like? He said, asked. Being with her? I guess. I sighed. She's as crazy as you think. He laughed. Which I guess makes me crazy, I continued. Crazy. He playfully shoved my shoulder and I leaned into him. Thanks, I mumbled, searching for his eyes in the dark. He took a deep breath and leaned it against my shoulder. Is this okay? He asked quietly. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. I said, heart beating out of my chest. I think you, he whispered. God, just admit that you were gay for <laughs> <laughs> No, he just likes being a fool. Yeah, I don't yeah, know what you're talking about. Oh my god, what's the one thing? It was just like, if they made me come down, she like rushes to me, like, you're gay! <laughs> and like, walks away. <laughs> Alright. This, this is all you, man. Uh, I feel like it's gonna get. Uh. <laughs> I'll, heated. Well, we'll okay. read what you can, and then if it does, then I'll read uh, it. Chapter 5. My breath grew shallow as he laid his head onto my shoulder. Okay. We stayed quiet for a bit, eyes glued to his TV. Lies flashed, the lights flashed around us, drowning us in blankets of red and blue. Sam felt warm. I took notice of every breath, his body slowly pulsing with it. I rested my head on top of his, the scent of his shampoo swirling into my nose. He pressed his body into mine, moving his arm around my waist. Sam, I began to speak before he jerked back. Sorry, dude, just really tired. He began to stand up. What? No, it's fine, I said, voice soft. 
Text me later, okay? Seriously, we're cool. Just tired. He laughed nervously before backing up and out of the room. I watched him go, heart banging out against my chest. I sprung onto my feet and followed him out of the front door. His head clung, hands shoved into his pockets as he walked. My feet were speeding ahead of my brain, throwing me towards him before I had any idea what I was going to do. Dude. I clapped a hand onto his shoulder before spinning him around. I could barely make out his expression through the darkness. What the hell, I asked. What? Nothing. I told you, I'm just tired. He put his hands up in defense. I like being with you too, I said, eyes, eyebrows furrowed. I always want to be with you, you're my best friend. Aww. This is it's, so wholesome, it's sweet, and hopefully <laughs> it's just not wholesome. sexual. Yeah, not at all, just wholesome stuff all around. That's what we need right now is some wholesome couples, not sex, right? What's the opposite word of smut? Huh? What is there mean? like an opposite word to smut? Wait, an opposite word for wholesome? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry, you were cutting out. <laughs> Uh, oh, let's see. Opposite wholesome. Opposite wholesome means healthy. It's being the opposite being unhealthy. I guess I don't. <laughs> toxic. <laughs> I don't know if there was like a genre for that. Probably toxic would probably be the opposite of wholesome. Nah. His eyes met mine, gleaming against a room full of nerves. I clapped my hands around his shoulder and hugged him. His hands reached around me, squeezing my body into his. <sighs> when I pulled away, his face stayed close to mine. His eyes flicked towards my mouth and then back to my gaze. Yeah, this is best friend behavior. I always do this with my homies. I mean, Trevor probably does this with all his brothers anyway. <laughs> my body filled with heat and static, tingling around every inch of me. I closed the gap and pressed my mouth to his. Hot, stifling heat filled my head and spread to my hands as they cupped around his face. It felt hazy like a dream, like it couldn't possibly be real. Then, then, and then it wasn't anymore. He pushed himself off of me, eyes dark and tense as they cut into me. What the fuck, Sebastian? He asked, eyes darting into the woods around us. Why the fuck would you do that? His words were hushed and whispered. Oh, I didn't whisper. <laughs> You're not having character. <laughs> my mouth gaped open, red flushing into my cheeks. I couldn't understand what was happening. I thought, what? What did you think? That I'm fucking gay? <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. <laughs> he spat at me. I said I was tired. I'm going home. He spun on his heels and stormed off into the darkness. Sam, I called after him but he kept walking i was suddenly aware of how dry my mouth was seemingly full of cotton as i tried to wrap my head around what happened my chest collapsed and i heaved forward body tensing as my hands balled into fist against my sides i suddenly began moving towards him uh, following him into town speeding against the cobblestone i was furious confused and tense i caught up to him just as he was approaching his front door his head turned against me eyes confused a split second passed before I committed to my plan and blasted my fist against his face. Oof. Oof. His Damn. body collapsed into a sliding, echoing throughout the darkness. His eyes fluttered as he regained his composure. Man, he just freaking punched him out of nowhere. What the hell, he whispered, voice cracking. Me? You've been talking to my head for weeks now, I shouted. Shut up, you're gonna wake them. He whispered, harsh, pointing towards to the house. I towered over him, rage breaking at my knuckles as my fist squeezed tighter together. Sebastian, he trilled off, eyes widening. He reached up and grabbed my hands, and breaking apart my hands. Then relaxed, and I took a step back, realizing what I'd done. I ripped my hands away from his, and he stood up. Fuck, I whispered, slowly moving backwards. Fuck, fuck, fuck. There we go again. <laughs> there we go again with this. My brain started racing, replaying the impact over and over again. Sebastian, Sam whispered, slowly walking towards me. I stayed silent, guilt gluing my mouth shut. 
I stood still and closed my eyes. I heard his footsteps come closer, leaves crunching under his feet. When I opened my eyes, he was only a few inches away from me. What are you doing? I asked and jerked back. What the fuck is going on? I whispered, brows furrowed. He stared at me, lips parted, seemingly grasping for, gasping for air. I don't know. His voice broke, hand shaking in front of him. I don't know. What do you want? I asked. He laughed, hollow, shaking his head. I don't fucking know. I can't be around you then, I said, eyes hardening. I waited for a response that seemingly never came. He turned around, hung his head, and disappeared into his house. I stared at his bedroom window, watching as the light flipped on, then off after a few minutes. Then he was gone, and I didn't know when things would ever be normal again. Damn, you just fucked up your friendship! <laughs> he just... He just freaking... He just fought him. Yeah. Chapter 6. Sam, POV Sam, reworked and extended. Right. Oh wait, give me like give me like twenty seconds. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh wait, I can read this shit. <laughs> this All one right. has more uh this chapter has more stars than the other one. Let's fucking go. Maybe that means it's good. It's like him being like, I was gay this whole time. I just <laughs> I tricked you. I trick yeah, I tricked everyone in town. <laughs> Alright, you be Sam. Rebirth and extended. My chest collapsed at his words. His eyes were darker than usual, cutting into me. I let out a shallow breath before turning to open the door, heading into the house. My legs were weak as I made my way to my bedroom. Turning on the light to kick off my shoes and shed my jeans. I heard his footsteps outside my window, fading in the distance. I took a deep breath and turned my lights off before crawling with him. Stupid. Useless and stupid. I can't do anything right! <laughs> I couldn't just let him kiss me. There wasn't anyone around. Nobody to see. No one to tell. I glanced at the framed picture of my dad on my next hand, taken just before he left. Everyone misses him. I asked about him, and of course, I wanted him to be safe, but he brought his energy out in this. Be hard, quiet, and never question the way things are. I know Seb didn't like it when he was around. That always made a comment about him, regarding, regardless of if he could hear it or not. Regardless if it would upset me. I took my phone and clicked through the notifications. Messages from boys in the, in the city, and from far away, without any real in, intention. Just to see what would happen, what I would feel. But none of that mattered. I could do nothing. I couldn't do anything. Not with them. Not with any boy. Not with my dad around. Or at least alive. What? Oh my god, he's gonna kill him. Yeah. I don't know, maybe his dad's <laughs> homophobic and so he oppresses his homo- like being like homosexual. He's gonna kill his dad so he can be gay. I think he secretly hopes that he dies in the war. <laughs> I cleared the messages and dropped my foot on my chest. Stupid. I mumbled before closing my eyes. I need to fucking turn off my phone. Jesus Christ. I keep reading messages. A few days later, a few days went by and filled with awkward waves of eye contact whenever I saw Seven Town. It was probably for the best that we stopped whatever we were, what was we were doing, whether I was feeling. I was at the abandoned lot when Abigail nudged my shoulder. Oh, I mumbled. What's up? You've been acting weird lately, she said. Left eyebrow arch. I glanced around, eyes bouncing from tree to tree in the lot. I shrugged my shrug and took a seat on the steps of the cabin. I'm fine, I lied. Yeah, sure. She took a seat next to me. I've known you for years. I know when you're not fine. Stuff with my dad. Nothing new, I, I said, watching the leaves fall off their branches. Huh. I shut this off and I stuck with Seb, I said, in voice quiet. Oh! <laughs> she repeated, voice cre creeping in her voice. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sure you don't want to talk about him. Took that whole thing, took it this town, just wanted to start over, you know? She turned her head to face me. Yeah, I paused. I do. Lucky you, at least. The whole scholarship thing? You'll be out of here in no time. She said, nudging her shoe into mine. Never wanted to leave here. That's always been your thing. His thing, it just happened to me. 
instead of jerking my foot away. Take a deep breath before speaking. You know, you have everything you could ever you know, you could have everything you ever want, she said. Thick voice thick. Excuse me? Do you have to play soccer or go to the city? Is Sebastian in love with you? What? <laughs> I asked, sharp, sharp snapping my head towards her. Oh, is that supposed to be a secret or whatever? She asked, arms crossed. What? Wow, I'm just doing this man dirty right now. Holy shit. Called out. He didn't even get the talent. He just. <laughs> She's like, what? Was this supposed to be a secret? Everyone didn't know this shit? <laughs> <laughs> You think I want Sebastian to be in love with me? I paused, angling my body away from her. You think that's all I could ever want? Quoted her previous jab. I'm not stupid, she snapped. Yes, you are. <laughs> if that's what you think, you're a fucking idiot. Excuse me? I said, <laughs> she began to say that. I don't so mean to Abigail, but to be fair, I guess she did. As soon as she broke up with Sebastian, she did just go to another guy, so I guess I can't be surprised, but holy shit. <laughs> you never met my dad, did you? No. She looked down. Then take yourself out of whatever fantasy you think I'm living in, because it, I'm not. I spoke with gritted teeth. Then tell me! She raised her voice. I scratched my face, peering up at her through the viewing sun. Tell me what's wrong. With the city, your dad, whatever. Just tell me. She begged. I stood up to meet her eyes and took a deep breath. <gasps> All right. <laughs> Holy, there's there. a whole paragraph. Yeah, he's going <laughs> into his trauma. Down. He's going into his uh, his lore, his backstory. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, Finance and Freddy? <laughs> Finance and Fre Fredericks? All right. All right. <laughs> I can't go to the city without knowing where my dad is. I can't stay here in case he comes back. I can't be with Sebastian because every time I look at him, I can see my fucking father standing in front of my face, ready to slap whatever sick grin I have off my mouth. Her voice twisted open, eyes dark and confused as she watched me. I inched closer to her and she stumbled back. I can't be myself here. I can't be myself there. I lied to him about having a girlfriend every time he calls. I lied to Sebastian about moving to the city every time he asks. I never feel calm or comfortable anywhere but here. He gestured around to the empty parking lot, where no one can see me or hear me or try to fucking change me or understand me. I'm sorry, Damn. she said. I flew to me. I I stay quiet, rolling my eyes at her gesture. It doesn't matter, I said, before walking towards the empty cabin and closing, closing the door. That was the first time I ever said that out loud. Part of me felt lighter, just knowing that I could be honest with someone. But even if it's someone, I can't fucking stand. I barely look at whatever feeling, wait, could barely look at without feeling some sort of disgust for what she put Sebastian through. It was a body, yeah, that, it was a body that could listen, feel sympathy. It didn't eliminate any other problems, but cleared my head in a way. I released my body against the cabin floor, staring at the ceiling. I took my phone out of my pocket and pulled up Sebastian's message feed. The last thing I sent him was over a week ago. Something about Abby's Nintendo 64. I took a deep breath and typed, Hey man, need to talk when you're free. I hope you would respond. I would feel that it felt better just reaching out, knowing I tried to resolve the whole thing without any pressure to follow up. That half felt growing bigger every passing minute. Of silence, blinking, blank staring at the ceiling until I felt a buzz. My throat tightened as they flipped through my phone, and so they put my phone back up to my face. Come over tonight after nine. It read, Please don't do any cheeky shit. Fuck, <laughs> I'm up. I'm scared. Oh, oh god. No, isn't this the last? The next chapter is the last chapter. This, this is the last one. Oh my god. You're gonna have to take over for me at some point. I can tell. Well, uh, okay, if, just read as much as you can, and I'll, I'll be an actor. Alright, POV still Sam. Alright, you can read. <laughs> wow, you need to really <laughs> get into the base, <laughs> wake up! Alright, POV still Sam. What, what do you mean, basement? There's a basement? What? <laughs> what? 
Yeah, yeah, Sebastian you... lives in the basement. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you think of that? I stood outside their front door for what felt like hours, still in the static. Eyes blurring and refocusing on the handle as I thought about what would happen once I pulled it open. I wish I were drunk, wish I could blur the rest of my brain. I flipped my phone up, unlocking it to check the time. 9.18pm. Fuck, okay. I typed out front and, sit and hit send. A few minutes later, his footsteps echoed against the stairs. He quietly pulled the door open and motioned for me to follow him. I did so blindly, weaving through the hallway and bouncing down the stairs in the dark. When we reached the bottom, I followed him in, closing the door behind me. He slowly walked to the bed and released his weight. I don't know what's happening. He ran his hand through his hair, staring at the floor. I stood frozen by the door, staring at his shoes. With you, with me, I don't know what's happening with any of it, he paused. So I'm asking if you do. I searched for his face in the dark, eyes widening against the lack of light. I let his statement sit in silence, unable to come up with a response. He dropped back onto the bed and pulled out his lighter, flicking it on and off. Did you start again? I asked. Smoking? No. His, re his response was quiet, firm. Oh, I mumbled. I slid down the wall and let the silence breathe, thickening the air. I started picking at the skin around my nails splintering hangnails until blood came up. Damn, what? <laughs> you picked at your skin until blood came up? Yeah, hey, you don't do that. that. Is never... Until blood comes up? No. You know how you have, like, a, like, you look at your nails and there's, like, a bit of skin, so you, like, take it off, but it's, like, it's too close, so you end up, like, breaking towards the, the blood vessels and whatnot? I mean, I'm a, I'm a precisionist. I never do it until uh -huh. the blood comes up. Well, yeah, I mean, like... Like, you have a little, like, hanging skin or, like, a hangnail, so you just take it off, but, like, that always causes blood. Like, not, like, straight up, like, pissing blood, but, like, just a little bit. <laughs> what? Don't, don't, don't think. I don't think I've ever done until blood came up. I was just like, well, alright, this is... I mean, like... Of course it's not. No one goes over and be like, alright, I'm gonna stop when I see blood. Yeah, I mean, probably if you're, like, a map. But what do they call them? Masochist? I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, masochist? Yeah. I stopped and held both hands in front of my face. They don't look like mine. He stopped snapping his lighter. What? My hands. They don't look like mine. <laughs> what does that mean? He's a dream. He it... <laughs> He's high. <laughs> He's just high. Yeah. He pulled himself up and I could feel his eyes on me. He didn't say anything. I don't know whose hands these are. I don't know the last time they looked like mine. I paused. Maybe that's the problem. I don't know what you're talking about, Sam, he said, confused and sharp. I don't know who I am. I dropped my hands into my lap. So, no, I guess I don't know what's happening. Are you happy? He asked after a long pause. I snickered at the question. I don't think happy exists. I don't know it's a real thing. You just go through life, do what you're told, when you're told, slap a smile on, and don't question it. That's your whole life. Damn. That's a... That's a perspective. Man, why you call me out like this? I'm trying to read a Wattpad story. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't have to be. <laughs> Doesn't have to be. He got off, off of the bed. Yes, it does, I argued. That's a fucking lie, dude. Your fucking fodder made you think of all of that shit is true. He sat down across from me and reached for my hands. I tried to pull him away. Stop, he whispered, tightening his grip. What do you want? Let go. I don't believe you, he paused and took a breath. What do you want? Because this, whatever we are, whatever we're doing, this is what I want. My face flamed. Sheesh. But oh, if we don't... Man, see me. <laughs> But if you don't, you have to tell me, he said. I pulled my hands away, keeping eye contact. It's not that simple. He dropped his hands into his lap. Because if we do this, I won't be able to stop. I'm going to want the whole thing. His face twisted in confusion. I don't understand the problem, he mumbled, running both hands through his hair. My dad. 
my voice was short. He comes home. I'm fucked. He doesn't... He... I'm fucked. He doesn't? That's words. I have to be whatever he wants if he comes home. I have to be whatever he wants if he doesn't hurt my mom. I'm screwed either way because his son was another guy? That's not going over well. I didn't ask what he wanted. I'm not asking that. I don't care about that. What do you want? If nobody were around, what would you want? I took a deep breath and closed my eyes. My face was on fire. My hands felt like static. My bones felt like they could jump out of my skin. I reached forward and looked and hooked my finger around the zipper of his hoodie. I pulled down, revealing a plain black t-shirt. I could feel his heart beating through the fabric. I pushed it back off his shoulders before he slid it down his arms, taking it off completely. He reached forward and grabbed the collar of my jacket, jerking it back behind my shoulders before it slid off. We sat in silence, illuminated by the blinking green light of the computer tower. My hand reached forward, hovering over his thigh before I began tracing the edge of his belt with my finger. With no further instruction, he began undoing it, sliding the leather under each belt loop before settling down beside him. Oh god, it's, it's getting detailed. <laughs> that, was a, that was a detailed ass sentence. Uh, where am I? Do I, do uh, I you. You, he whispered, shaky, and I undid my own belt. Okay, yeah, you can take over. Fuck! <laughs> you, he whispered, shakingly, and I undid my own belt. I've never I trailed off. I'm burning into his. Me neither. His eyes were. His voice was loud, hesitant. I let more silence hang. I'm scared, I said, barely audible. He moved towards and sat on my lap. Wait, uh, wrapping his legs around my waist. He pushed his face into my neck and bit, softly. I instinctively moved both of my hands under his shirt, pressing it against his back. He slipped his hands under mine in the same fashion and pushed my body against the wall. I squeezed my eyes shut and buried my face against his neck. Emotion bubbling over into my body collapsed into his and I started sobbing. <laughs> Jesus! His body is stiff and I pulled away to. He pulled away to look at me, but I only held on tighter, digging my nails into his back. He rested his head back against my neck. Damn, are you okay? This is so hard. He managed to s- I managed to spit up between the tears. What? What is? Us. This. I want this so bad. Man, it's okay. You're okay. He's paused. I'm sorry. I lifted up- lifted my head up, and he did the same to me my eyes. He placed his hands against my cheek, tracing the nerves between his fingers. He's came across my lips and could fe- I could feel my chest tightening, breath caught onto my throat. I moved forward, leaving only an inch of space between us. I'm sorry, he repeated, breathless. I took a deep breath, closing my eyes and pressing my lips on his. He pushed my head against the wall and put a force to kiss and wrapped his fingers in my hair. Gently pulling them at the root. We stayed, before, stayed there for what felt like hours, locked in each other before coming up for air. This is all I want. What is the plus sign? Hey, thank you for reading. I made a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well. You know what? I feel like that was pretty good. It was like. It was instead of smut, we got like sad. Thanks. It was it was smad. <laughs> smut plus sad is smad. Yeah. Well, people would classify that as angst, but I guess we'll use your word for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, angst would probably be a better word. Yeah. Th- this was straight up angst. This is so much angst. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, no, I enjoyed this. Uh, sorry this was short. I didn't think the last... Yeah, we read like three chapters and they were pretty long, and I guess they gave up during the last... Yeah, they were pretty part. long. They were decent, sized chapters. Yeah. Damn, well... 
Yeah, so, sorry this is not as long as other Wattpad stories, but, uh, deal with it, I guess. Deal Mar with it. Yeah, my rebuttal, go fuck yourself. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know what? This book to someone who's, like, loving, like, starting out, like, that needs little angst. I, I would give them this book. Because I feel like th they would like this. And I won't, like... For, for, for a book like Why are your books just not good recommendations usually? I'm not talk about my library, right? It's not All right. I'm replaced. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'll have this book link below in the description if you want to read it with your friends. They have another book apparently for Sam and Sebastian, so go support the author. They did a good job with this. Why not? So. Maybe the author's next... name is Stardew Babe. Yeah, you know what? Hats off to you, bitch. I get. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to say it in a nice way, but bitch just came out. <laughs> but, Very uh, nice. Yeah, that's the nice thing I can be. <laughs> but uh, well, I, I guess there's only one thing left to do now. And that is spin the wheel to see how fucked we are the next time we have to record on the Saturday. Oh boy. Yay! Alright, so I, I believe as long as it doesn't play the same as Fashion again, we'll read it. So. <laughs> oh yeah, we don't have crafting table anymore, but, but like if you want your crap, like your Minecraft kind of thing, we have Obsidian <laughs> XP <-Craft -Craft> Wait, <laughs> did we add that? I forgot. Yeah, we found a book for that. <laughs> Obsidian X Cobblestone? Wait, is that a thing? Or. Yeah. Yeah, it, should be, it should be like water x lava. I don't know, that's what I found in, while, while, while searching for craft the table x furnace, so. Ship right. water and lava and you get a cobblestone, baby. Oh god, or stuck to the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving ideas. I don't want you to give them ideas, man. Oh no! No. Fuck! <laughs> My life is over! The Wattpad series is it! <laughs> well, thank you guys for joining us on this long adventure. Uh, yeah. We're out. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys for joining me. It was nice having you here. This is the end of the Wattpad book. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was good while it lasted. Yeah. I don't want to read this fucking Shane X Reader. Jesus Christ. Oh. We have to have a good block. First, first Sebet, or whatever this fucking name is. Bad damn. Uh, I don't want to deal with it. We haven't read that before. Is no. this like your first one? Yeah, it's my first ever time reading a Shine X Reader. Great. Right. I see. <laughs> I'm ready to die. And that's, that's where I'm at, you know? I'll leave. Finding it up to you. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate the help. <laughs> well, uh, well, thank you, thank you, Mitho, for joining. Uh, I'm glad we got like a little bit of a calm before the storm, aka raiding a fucking Shane X reader. It's been Stardew Valley for the past now. I guess the next time we come in here, it's gonna be the next three times. Stardew. Yeah. I just realized there's so much Stardew on that wheel. Yeah. Wait, is there? I'm gonna have to look out later about pulling this shit back up. <laughs> it, what? It's a shame. We got Harvey. We got... Oh yeah, there's Smash next reader, and then there's Sam next Sebastian. Okay, yes. We should probably have Abigail. There is one. Then you, can, then you can actually read about your little waifu that likes to rocks. <laughs> 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 your hero. Get you a girl that eats rocks like pants. Mmm, <laughs> rocks. Yeah. Oh, thank you for the snack, Crunch. Her teeth must be real strong. <laughs> but, uh, Should I add some, like, variety in that wheel? Yeah. Oh, I think it's been say that she should add some variety to her diet. Like, eat an amethyst, then eat a ruby. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. amethyst, ruby, <laughs> yeah. diamond. Maybe we could fix the wheel at some point, but... Alright, well... <laughs> Gotta do, like... I don't know. Um, Trump x Hillary. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
No, there probably is a Trump actually No, there, there actually is probably is something like that. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, when I was looking up JFK X-Readers because of, uh, like, uh, Clone High stuff and whatnot, I kept actually finding the president that people were shipping. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I guess Bush X Obama reader. Yeah. Barack Obama X-Reader. Biden ex Trump reader. Alright, well, we can read that. If I find it, we'll put it on the wheel. Oh read. my god. <laughs> no, I've seen enough AI content for Biden and Trump <laughs> to last me. What, like them playing video games or? Oh, yeah, I, I've occasionally seen videos like that. It's really funny. Yeah, presidents playing like Minecraft and there's Trump, Joe Biden, and uh, Barack Obama, and then occasionally they get old ass presidents that like are around anymore like fucking JFK. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that one's funny. Alright, well <laughs> Well, my name's Phoenix. That was been out. And I guess we'll we'll see you guys next time. Uh I don't know if there'll be a good next time, but Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Yep. Bye bye. Bye bye.